Did you know your body has its own air conditioning unit? Yeah, that's right. And that air conditioner is sweat. Now, your body has a normal temperature of 98.6 degrees. And of course, when you're outside and you get hot, that body temperature can rise. So your body then responds by producing sweat to try to cool itself down. Here's what happens in that process. When you get hot and you start sweating, it evaporates into a water vapor. And during that process, it is called evaporational cooling. When that sweat evaporates from your skin, it cools the air around it, therefore cooling down your body a little bit. So when that sweat evaporates, it keeps your body from overheating and it brings that temperature back down to about 98.6 degrees. Now, of course, the problem with that comes when it's very humid outside, that evaporation process takes longer. And so if that sweat doesn't evaporate, your body is thinking it needs to produce more sweat to try to cool itself down. So this is when you could have some problems, especially on a very hot and humid day. You could experience heat exhaustion or even heat stroke. These are some of the differences between those. With heat exhaustion, exhaustion, you might start feeling faint or dizzy, but with heat stroke, you could have a throbbing headache. With heat exhaustion, you'll have excessive sweating, but with heat stroke, you may have no sweating at all because your body is trying to produce more and more sweat to cool itself down and it may not produce anymore. With heat exhaustion, you may have cool, pale, clammy skin, but with heat stroke, potential for red hot and also dry skin. The other things you need to watch for here is a rapid weak pulse with heat exhaustion or with heat stroke, a rapid strong pulse. So this is what you need to do in those situations. If you have muscle cramps, that could be heat exhaustion or you may even lose consciousness with heat stroke. So for heat exhaustion, you need to get yourself into a cool air conditioned place, drink plenty of water and take a cool shower or even a cold shower to cool yourself down. But if you're experiencing these symptoms, you would need to call 911.